Hello YouTube, Chuck here. I decided to start making some tutorial videos about DCS modules, so I guess we'll just see how it goes. Today's video is about auto rotation with the DCS Huey. So what is auto rotation? It's not that complicated really. Basically it's a flight state. It's a descending maneuver where you have engine loss of power. Your engine is disengaged from the main rotor system and your rotor blades are driven solely by the air flowing upwards through the rotor. It can be caused by engine failure, tail rotor failure or loss of effectiveness of the tail rotor. The procedure is simple but it requires good timing and practice. You gotta make sure you know every step on top of your head because once you lose power everything will go really fast and it's easy to start panicking and lose control. When you practice auto rotation, just make sure you've found a suitable place to land forehand. Anyway, here's how we do it. First, you gotta simulate the loss of engine power. You can do that with your shutoff valve next to your governor RPM switch or simply by cutting down the twist grip throttle that's on your collective. How you do it is entirely up to you. Once that's done, you should feel your helicopter nosing down and dive at a dangerously fast rate. Stay cool, trust your machine and you'll make it. Use your trim reset button. Your end helicopter will kind of wobble around. Don't worry, that's normal. This will allow you to have full cyclic authority without being limited to your previous trim setting. Some guys just start pulling on their cycling and don't understand why they can't pull out of the dive. Well, that's because their current trim setting limited the effective range of their control surfaces. Then, you push your collective down. You do that to help your helicopter maintain engine RPM despite its sudden loss of power. Your helicopter will nose down, that's normal. Pull your cycling towards you and maintain a horizontal speed between 60 and 90 knots. It's up to your personal preference, really. Try and stay horizontal during the descent. If you're going too slow, just slightly push the nose down and you'll be gaining speed. Once you've reached approximately 200 feet, level off. Reduce your vertical speed and try to stick to a descent rate between 1000 and 2000 feet per minute. If you fail to maintain horizontal speed, you'll just start falling down like a rock without any chance to generate lift whatsoever. Afterwards, at 50 feet, gently pull your cyclic to its you and flare. Don't pull too hard on the stick or your tail will just smack the ground. Once you've started flaring, pull your collective to cushion your landing. This requires a decent amount of practice to get it right, so if you pull too hard or too fast on the collective, you'll generate excessive torque on your main rotor and you'll end up having your blade swooshing away. Pulling too gently or too slowly on the other hand will cause a hard landing and wreck your ship. Alright people, let's put that into practice.